Okay, guys. So, what you have before you is the sum of the first and even whole numbers. You remember this from 1.5, number 21. Let me see if I can zoom in on that chart there. So you remember that yesterday I talked about how to find the sum of the first even whole number would be 2. The sum of the first 2 would be 2 plus 4, which is 6. Sum of the first 3, which would be 2, 4, and 6, would be 12, so on and so forth, to figure out the n term, which is n times n plus 1. So anytime we're dealing with a sequence of the first consecutive even whole numbers, you would use n times n plus 1. According to number 21 on 1.5 homework, the sum of the first n consecutive even whole numbers is equal to n times n plus 1. Therefore, the sum of the first, 80, notice the wording is exactly the same, guys. Instead of the first n consecutive even whole numbers, I'm going to ask for the sum of the first 80 consecutive even whole numbers. So basically, I asked you to substitute n with 80. So that way, if you wanted to know how to figure that out, you would calculate it by plugging in 80 into n times n plus 1 to get 80 times 81 or 6,480. So, how would you use n times n plus 1 to get the answer to the following problem? 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus all the way up to 500. Now, before you say 500 times 501, because I know some of you guys are going to say that, check that theory by using a smaller set of consecutive even whole numbers. For example, if you said 2 plus 4 plus 6, would you say that was equal to 6 times 7? Because if some of you guys want to use this problem and say 500 times 501, then would this be the same thing as saying 6 times 7, using 6 as n? No, of course not. Oh, I just lost it. Where was I? No, of course, here we are. No, of course, 6 times 7 does not equal 2 plus 4 plus 6. So, this problem right, he right here would not equal 500 times 501, like some of you guys wanted to say. Remember, n represents the number of even whole numbers in a series of even whole numbers. Of course, your series begins with the number 2. Because remember back from the chart, n, this top row here, n represents the number of even whole numbers starting with the number 2. And then you keep adding the next even whole number. So, in this series right here, 2 plus 4 plus 6 dot dot dot, remember if you plug in 500, you're basically finding the sum of the first 500 even whole numbers. Are there 500 even numbers here? That's your hint. Now go be honor students and figure this out. Now of course I have given you three different types of series. There's a consecutive even whole numbers problems. There's also consecutive odd whole number problems. And that would be like number 20 from 1.5 homework. And then, of course, there's consecutive numbers where you don't skip any numbers and you just go 1 to 2 to 3, so on and so forth. Um, I've got to go to therapy now, so good luck.